play, the one thing I noticed is the uh, last couple of Giants have kind of discovered the run game again here, and how much more difficult can that make the whole package? Yeah, I mean, it can make it incredibly difficult. You looked in the first game, we really had a lot of success stopping the run, um, but now they seem to have gotten back on track, finding their new back, um, and, and he's, he's really been playing well lately, and then on top of that, you can do a lot of the play action out of that. Odell's been having another uh, remarkable season along with the, you know, the rookie and uh, Cruz, uh, tie at the tight end, so really they're loaded uh, offensively. So we, we anticipate this being a much different game than the first time around, So, um, but it should be a good one. Talk about the confidence and the momentum that you guys have right now. You've won six straight, you ran the table now. It's, it's a really a one-game season. And you guys are playing probably your best football right now. How much does that help you going into the postseason? Well, it helps incredibly. I think, um, you know, anytime you can kind of get that momentum heading into the playoffs, it, it means a great deal because you need to carry that moving forward. You look at wild card teams and, and teams other than the one and two seed who are able to kind of carry that momentum late in the season and into the playoffs. Um, you see a lot of those teams come out as Super Bowl champions, and it's no different from our 2010 season. So, um, you know, to, to rattle off six in a row, we needed to do that, and we've been treating every game like a playoff atmosphere mentality, and, and hopefully this game is no different. But uh, in reality, we do, we do know that this is, a, you know, a different game. It's a, it's a different mentality. Uh, everything about it, it kind of cranks up a little bit. So, you know, as a veteran, we'll, we'll try and relay that message to the young guys and hope that we don't squander an opportunity. Is the turnaround, in addition to some individual players getting more healthy, as simple as turnover ratio? Because it seems like you and the Patriots are always near the top of the league in that, and you're always in the playoffs. Is that simplifying it too much? We also have two very good quarterbacks, <laughs> <laughs> I think, help out. But uh, yeah, I mean, defensively speaking, you look at um, you know what we've yeah. been able to do these past couple uh, weeks, pretty remarkable. I'm still kind of kicking myself over, you know, could have added that one in the Detroit game. But um, at the same time, we've been doing a great job of getting the ball, uh, you know, out, creating those turnovers. And I think last time, uh, well, I'm actually not sure what we did against Eli last time. Um, it had to have been good. But uh, <laughs> now we were able to get after him a little bit. Uh, I think we had four sacks on him on the day. And uh, they do a real good job of kind of keeping, keeping defenders off him from hits on him. And, uh, you know, at the same time, he's, uh, you know, He's won two Super Bowls, and he knows what he's doing back there. Can you just talk about the emotions of the fact that in November, you you were personally you were setting out some games. You guys were on a losing streak. Here you are with a chance that you you guys kept saying your goals were all in front of you, but now they they really are there. For the season you personally have had, how does it feel to be in this spot now? Well, I mean, it feels great. I, you know, I think not to take away anything of, of those seasons in which we've had where the playoffs have been locked and you know week 14, 15, or 16, but it kind of gives it a little more meaning now that we've had to really scraped together six victories against some good teams along the way, division rivals, and have it come down to the final game. I think it means a great deal, but, um, you know, as you have mentioned, every year we come out, our expectations are not just to get back to the playoffs, but get back to the Super Bowl. So hopefully it's, uh, you know, hopefully this is the year, and we have a great opportunity to start in this uh, Sunday. Hey, Clay, um, we obviously all heard Aaron make his on the table comment, but does his leadership go beyond just things that he may say in the media? If so, what, how does that show up? Uh, well, you know, I think, you know, Aaron, you know, he has the type of leadership where, where he likes to he likes to prove people wrong. And I think by, you know, by putting those expectations out there, kind of uh, really has this locker room come together and kind of back them up and, and, and obviously try and achieve those goals in which we're, you know, aiming for. And that was six in a row, and we've been fortunate enough to do that. So hopefully part of that table means four more games or, you know, whatever it is now. But, um you know, the type of leadership he brings is one that, you know, I think is kind of infectious in what you see on Sunday and every day in practice when some of you guys, uh, you know, are able to see what he does. Do you play with You're on defense, I mean, I'm not speaking for him, but how tough is it to see someone like Mike now go through what he's going through right now um, just to stay on the field? Yeah, I mean, it's difficult, obviously. Uh, you know, I'm sure Mike's, uh, you know, hardest on himself being that this is kind of, uh, you know, he put himself in this situation, but at the same time, you know, if I can kind of relate to it, you know, missing games from, you know, from injuries or whatnot, it's difficult mentally to go through that kind of up and down of the season. But, um, you know, he's been working hard in the weight room and really putting in time. So hopefully that translates over to a great postseason. How frustrating is it for you that you can't be really the Clay Matthews that you want to be when you're, when you're not like 100% and now there's so much at stake? Well, I mean, it's very difficult. But at the same time, I, you know, I still have opportunities to make plays out there. So. Uh, you probably wouldn't be asking me that question if I had a pick six last week. So, <laughs> next question. <laughs> the focus on getting your job done, how is that heightened when you may have a really odd collection of defensive backs out there on the field again? On, on I'm Sunday? sorry, what's the question? The focus on getting your job done individually across the defense, how is that heightened with what may be a pretty unusual collection of new secondary players out of the field? Oh, okay, yeah, I see, no, I see where you're going with this. Yeah, I mean, it's... Um, you know, unfortunately, that's kind of been what we've been dealing with throughout this, uh, you know, entire year is 
you know, our DBs going down and, and, and staggering numbers. And it really just puts extra emphasis on the on front four or five, whatever it is, getting after the quarterback. And, um, you know, we've had some success in, in, you know, helping out our back end. And they've at times bailed us out. But I think, you know, as we talk about the playoffs, I think it's going to be, uh, you know, turned up even more so, especially, you know, if you look at the guys on the front line in which we have. Julie's been doing this for a while. Um, you know, Dayton, Nick Perry, you got a lot of number ones who, you know, have been in this position before and understand, you know, what it's going to take to win this game. And, you know, we expect to have a lot of that, a lot of that burden put on our shoulders. And you've had, you know, Gunter all season. You've had Allison, a free agent. These guys take advantage of opportunities this year. Yeah, I mean, it's been amazing. Right, they really have. And, um, you know, now it's the playoffs. We're going to ask them to do, you know, even more so. So it should, um, should be interesting. But I mean, we're up for the challenge. Clay, how much better is this Giants team three months after you first played them? Well, I th you know, I think they're a lot better, obviously. Um, you know, I think they've, I'm not sure when we saw them in the season, maybe game four, but they had a tough loss uh, to Washington early in the season and then against us. But really, they, they, they you know, rattled off wins uh, one after another and, and defeating a, a very good Cowboys team who, you know, we had lost to early in the season. So I think this is two teams that you're seeing are really coming together uh, at this point in the season. So, uh, you know, I expect uh, this to be a real good ball game both offensively and defensively. I think there's playmakers on both sides of the ball, and I think this is one uh, one of those matchups that everyone's going to be interested in seeing. What's the home field advantage this time of year for you guys at Lambeau? Well, I, you know, I, it's remarkable, obviously. You know, you, just just last week going to Detroit and, and their fans and how much they were into it and uh, playing in a different atmosphere where it's 70 degrees, but now you come back here where it's, you know, close to zero and, and you kind of got to get your footing right. and gotten the opposition coming in and having our fans show up, um, it means a great deal. So we're fortunate to have won the North and get at least one home game and, and you know, hopefully that's a victory. I know you kind of, kind of continued the last time, but what about the Eli Manning build up, the connection, just how tough, you know, well, the combo was that in the NFL. Yeah, I mean, it's very tough. Odell's one of the, uh, you know, premier wide receivers in this league. I mean, he, he makes plays, uh, you know, at will. And, and fortunately, I think in the first game, we held him to maybe five, or so receptions for around 50 yards and did a great job up until that last touchdown which you have but that really goes to show his playmaking ability and um, you know there's gonna be extra emphasis on the de defensive backs as well as you know us on the front line getting after uh, uh, Eli just because they're uh, they're a tremendous combo and they've been doing it for years now what's your relationship like with him with your marketing yeah. stuff and everything I got to meet him for the first time uh, you know outside of the football field um, you know with the Jack Wings commercial shoot and everything He's, he seemed like a great guy I mean we really you know hit it off and uh, if it weren't for the fines we get for trading jerseys here at the Packers, he asked for my jersey, but um, <laughs> wasn't really ready to take that fine. But now, I mean, uh, you know, he's he's always been a great guy to me, and I have nothing uh, nothing against him. How much do you make of the way well, the defense has performed in the first half during the win streak? No team has put up more than 14 in the first half on you in that month and a half. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, that's good. It, you know, especially when we're playing on the road and. Well, even playing teams coming in here, they have a scripted offense. Usually they stick to that and, you know, have some success. So for us to go out there, usually a three and out or whatever it is, I think it speaks volumes to the way we, you know, show up. And, you know, it's going to be even more important. You know, you've seen over the past couple of games in the fourth quarter, giving up a few points to really um, kind of eliminate that and, and hold on to these victories. Clay, do you relish the fact that it is the Giants knowing the history and being a veteran and getting a chance to kind of turn the tables with them? Well, you know, I relish the opportunity to be in the playoffs again. There's no doubt about it, especially when you come short within these past uh, you know, two years. But, uh, you know, as I said earlier, it is a marquee matchup. You look at the two teams, uh, we've had some, you know, historic games as well as some, uh, you know, heartbreakers for us, uh, especially out here at Lambeau. But it, it should be a good one. I think this is two teams that people are going to want to see.